welcome back again. So we're gonna start with the model, right? So a lot of things, whenever you're making apps or whenever you're designing anything, it starts with thinking about the data. Uh, you kind of create and set up the data plan, and then you kind of work on the views and things that are gonna get associated with it. I mean, when you're planning, you do the reverse, but when you're implementing, you do kind of bottom up, right? So the data that we wanna make here is we're gonna have two entities. Uh, they're shown on here quite nicely. Uh, there's gonna be a list uh, item entity, and then there's also going to be a task entity. There's going to be a relationship between them. You can see the little arrows on here. Um, there's a single arrow here because each task points to one list, but then there's a double arrow on the other end because each list points to many different tasks. A list is going to have to have a title. Uh, that's just the, the name for the attribute that I picked. Um, and then a task is going to have whether it's starred or not. Um, and then the actual like text for the task, which I call the task which is a little confusing because the task has a task, but just deal with it. Um, and then there's a relationship from a list to many tasks, and then there's a relationship from the task to the list that it's in, right? So there's this inverse relationship. All right, we could have done it by the time it took me to talk about it. So let's go into our app. Let's go into the model objects, uh, and let's start playing around. Um, first thing we want to do is we just want to add an entity. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and add our list entity first. And then we're going to click on add entity again. Um, and we're just going to change it to be called a task entity. So these are our two. Uh, you can actually go into the graphical view right now if you like. Uh, and you can kind of see how these guys look. If you want to lay them out, you can, but that is entirely optional. The graphical view, great for kind of seeing what you've got. Uh, but really the business all happens in the table view. And in fact, you can also bring up this right side uh, and you'll see even more stuff about it. Um, by the way, later we're going to create uh, NS managed objects for these. It should default to make the class name the same as the entity name, uh, but I sometimes like to just go ahead and fill it out just in case that doesn't happen for some reason. So a list, the first thing we need in a list is a title. Uh, a title, the type of the title is just gonna be a string. Next thing we need in the list is, well, this is what's new, right, is a relationship. Uh, so it's going to have a relationship uh, called task, plural. Um, it's going to point to a task object. Um, and then the important thing is that you have to switch this to be a too many uh, relationship. And on the graphical display, you can actually see it's a single arrow uh, when it's to one. But as soon as I switch it to be to many, um, then you can see that I get my double arrows, so it's pointing that way. You'll notice there is no inverse relationship yet, so there's no arrow on the graph yet. Uh, but the list is basically done, other than this inverse that we'll get in a minute. A task, um, it consists of a string, which I'm choosing to call task, which I realize is a little confusing, uh, but I couldn't think of a better name, so that's what you get. Um, and then we're going to choose to have a task be starred or not. Uh, so this kind of represents whether it's important to you. Starred task moved to the top of the list. Um, and to be honest, we didn't have to do that in a to-do list, but it, it helps me show you things that I want to show you, which is custom table view cells and, and things like that. It also needs a relationship. Um, in core data, you should always doubly link things, right? So you should always have a relationship and then the inverse. So I'm going to point to a list. Uh, this is going to be a to one relationship because I've got one list that I'm in. Um, and then you'll notice that it says no inverse. I'm just going to select the task um, as my inverse. You'll notice that if you go to the list now, now it has an inverse um, and the task has an inverse. Uh, so we should be all set there. So that is our model object. Love core data, love the graphical editor. Uh, just makes these tasks trivially easy to set up, right? Once you've made your model objects, uh, what you want to do is you want to create uh, what's called NS Managed Object Subclasses. Since we're going to be creating some files and it's about to get kind of messy, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, create some new groups. Uh, so I'm just going to create a group called Core Data NS Managed Objects. Out of a long name. Um, and then I'm going to make another group, uh, also off the top level, called View Controllers. This is just preparing for organization that's coming down the road. And then a Custom Views. And then I'm going to go ahead and move my View Controller in because I know where it goes. 
um, and then that should be good enough. All right, so next up, uh, my NS Managed Object subclasses. I want to create a class for these things that I just made in Core Data. So I'm going to right click on this guy. I'm going to say New File. And I'm going to make sure I go up into the iOS area for Core Data. NS Managed Object Subclass. You may remember that very long name from last time. Uh, that's just the representation of one of your Core Data model objects. So I'm going to select everything, uh, so my rows task model, uh, which was that file there, and then both both entities uh, that are in it. I uh, just go ahead and save it in the default location. It defaulted to Objective C, which even when we use Swift, uh, we defaulted to Objective C. Uh, should be no errors. Uh, everything should come in fine. Uh, list imports task uh, in the .m file, and task imports list in the .m file, uh, and everything should be happy go lucky. Once we've got those classes ready, uh, what we can do is we can kind of go back and we can fix up our fetch results controller. So we, we commented it out last time uh, just because we wanted to make sure everything compiled without, without any problems. Um, but to be honest, there's a couple things that we just, we just want to fix, right? So the things in here that we're going to fix. Um, the type of entity, it used to be called event. Um, now it's going to be called a list, singular. Obviously, for constants like this, you could pound define them at the top or make some other type of constant, uh, but we'll just make a list there. Um, as far as the sort description goes, instead of timestamp, what we're going to do is we're going to use title. Um, ascending no, but, but the newest on top. If, if we did this one, it would put Z on top, so that would feel really odd. Uh, so we're just going to say yes to that. And we totally could walk through here um, and, and look at every line, but we kind of talked about it last time. Um, I mean, you can see it basically says what type of entity do you want, uh, how do you want them sorted, um, and then most of the rest is kind of boilerplate code, to be honest. Uh, one optional thing you could change here, it says master. Um, I guess you could change that to say list or something like that. It actually doesn't matter. If you wanted to leave that one as master, that'd be fine. But definitely do change the name of the entity, the property that we're using for sorting uh, and the direction that we're using for sorting. Uh, and so if you do that, uh, you can actually run it, keeping in mind that we just changed the data store model, uh, so it's going to crash if you just try to run it. Um, so what you can do is you can hit, um, oh, i got to hit stop first here. Um, so I can get to the home screen with command shift H, uh, I can long press on this guy and I can delete the app. Uh, you can also do that through um, the menu by just saying reset content and settings, either way is fine. So now you can run it. Uh, what you'll get is you'll get a view that looks like this. Uh, it says master there. I don't know why, but that kind of bothers me now. I'm gonna go ahead and change that. Uh, I'm just gonna make it say to-do lists, plural. And so if I run it now, what it's doing is it's not really showing me anything. Uh, that's because we're we're way short of actually displaying things from the users. You could argue that we've implemented the R in CRUD because we're reading things from core data. Um, it's just that we're not we're not really even close to displaying it on the screen yet. Um, but we've got most of the model things kind of going. All right, I'm going to go ahead and catch up my slides here. Uh, make sure that I've done these things. Uh, as always, you should follow along on the slides just in case you have any questions on the details or fall behind. Uh, but hopefully, the things that I did in the video uh, are the same things that you saw um, in the slides. Great. So come back next time, um, and we'll make some data, and we'll display it to the screen. See you then.